Welcome to Success Superstars, episode number 215, your place for inspiration and the blueprint of success for peak performers just like you. And my special guest today, Michelle Swan. Michelle, welcome. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. How are you today? It's yeah. a crazy day outside with the weather. Well, thanks for, <laughs> for breaking through this. Absolutely. You, you know, we have icy and snow and... Absolutely. Uh, you know, so thanks for braving through this. You know, we could have done this the easy way through Zoom, but in our business, we don't do things the easy way. No, through. no. We have to go out there and meet clients on the road, no matter what the temperature is. And, you know, people are still looking for houses, so we need to be there for them. Yeah, they have needs. Uh, now, how do you juggle, you know, being, being a wife, being a mom, being an entrepreneur, uh, being a business owner? You, you have all these roles mm -hmm. that you do so well. I mean, you're in our top, top producer ranks. Mm -hmm. How do you juggle all those things and still run a business? I mean, it's a good question because you definitely have to prioritize. And you have to remember that you are running a business. I mean, right. that is first and foremost what I, you know, remember every single time that I wake up. That's what keeps me driven every day. You know, I do have to be a parent. I do have to be a wife. But every morning I wake up and go, okay, how can I be successful today? Yeah. And how can I provide value to my clients? Because right. I know that they need my help and I want to provide that help the best way that I can. Yeah. So you said a key statement there is provide value. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think that makes you stand out is you really say, how do I provide value in every situation? Because price is only a issue in the absence of value, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I want to bring that value to them. And if people are always asking me, you know, what, what can I find out about this market? I want to be that educator for them. I want to be their advocate. And I want them to understand that's the role that I'm providing for them. Because so many people think they can get on Zillow and get on Realtor.com and just buy the house themselves, more or less. But in reality, they do need our help. And I just want to educate them as like, this market's crazy. And I want to make sure that you are not taken advantage of and that you don't do something that you regret later on. And people appreciate that, I feel like. It's so funny. Uh, we love Corpus Christi, and so mm -hmm. I've been looking at some Corpus Christi properties listings on you know, Zillow or right. Realtor. And it's so funny because we have the knowledge, right? Absolutely. And with the knowledge we have, when you're looking, you can you can kind of understand what you don't see, right? Or the questions you need to ask that aren't going to be on a mm -hmm. computer screen. Absolutely. Yeah. And so I think when you know consumers get out there, they look at Zillow and they think, oh, I want to buy this house. And there's so much more involved that they don't realize. And the first conversation I have with them, I'm like, oh my gosh, you explained so much more than I've ever even heard. Thank yeah. you so much for that information. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, so you know, when I can be that value to you, you'll understand how much yeah. it is important to, for me to be on your side. Yeah, oh, for sure. One of them I, I was talking with yesterday, it was funny because there was a particularly lower price listing and mm -hmm. I wanted to find out why. Well, it turns out that there's no washer and dryer you have, to, you have to go down to the bottom floor of this place. It's only, it has this beautiful ocean view, but it has no... Washer and dryer. Yeah. So that's, you know, the value for you is not really there in the sense that you have to be yeah, yeah. displaced to wash your clothes. Um, well, so tell me about what you enjoy uh, about JPAR. What I enjoy about JPAR is really the freedom to be our own boss and to have our own business. And you really allow us as a brokerage to, to build the business in our own sense. You provide our technology. We, you provide all of these things that we need, but we always have to remember that we are building our own business. And so because of that, it's you do have to show up every day and be determined and be motivated. Um, and of course, everybody loves that you can keep your own money, right? right? I mean, no one likes to pay a big massive split unnecessarily. So of course, when all of that comes together, when you get all this value from the brokerage, plus you get to keep your money, it's a win-win. It's a win-win because you, you can basically build a business within the business. Absolutely. Have the backup support. Um, now, if if you knew what you knew now, mm -hmm. right, all the knowledge you have, and you could take that with you and go backwards in time mm -hmm. and start over, would you do anything different? Absolutely. I think, and I think everybody, you know, this is, this whole business is a learning um, curve. And we, and you always, as you transition through stages of this business, you realize, oh, I coulda, shoulda, woulda, but in reality, it's a lesson learned and you bring that forward into your next transaction, your next client. But I think the one thing that I would probably change is just being more connected in my community oh, because yeah. I never was very connected and I you know, had a small circle and I was okay with that. And so it never really bothered me until I get to the point where I needed to connect with a lot of people and I didn't have those connections. So I would tell myself years ago, 
get more connected in your community, get more connected with people so that you have more opportunities to have conversations. Yeah. I, I saw a quote the other day, someone wrote it, it's like, success runs at the pace of your relationships. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's basically what you're saying. That is. That would be my quote. <laughs> Connections, relationships yes. is going to drive. Yes. Now, this is an interesting question. So if you think of all the tools, I think like myself, I have like a hundred different passwords. Mm -hmm. I, have to have a, I have to have one of those apps to manage all I, my I passwords. I do, yes. Right? yes. But if we took, if you took all of those and we took one of them away, mm -hmm. which, which tool could you not live without? Besides your car and your yeah. phone, right? Right. If there was a tool we took away, what would you say, oh man, that's, that hurt my business? Well, we do have so many tools in JPAR that I love to utilize, but I think probably the CRM because mm -hmm. it does work behind the scenes for me. When I'm out on the road, it's texting or emailing clients for me on my behalf, and we can't be everywhere all the time. And so every client wants to think that they're your only client, right. and that gives me the opportunity to make them think that I'm you know, on that situation at the moment. Isn't that so true? You know, I think you and I have both had encounters where the representative doesn't make you feel like they're mm -hmm. exactly like when someone tells me well i have 50 other clients well i don't really care right, right? i mean Absolutely. i care about me right, right. <laughs> and so i'm worried about me when that person makes you feel like you are the only one and you know you're not the only one Absolutely. but you feel like you are mm -hmm. isn't that a game changer absolutely and that's what i want my clients to really understand is that no matter what i'm doing i'm dropping everything and i'm answering that text right away and i think that's one thing that my clients always remember is that I'm super responsive. So if there's any type of review, it's I'm responsive. And it's just because I am, you know, I wanna make sure that they are heard when they are thinking about real estate. And it's not four hours later and they forgot or they've moved on. I wanna be that answer person. You know, it's so funny. Uh, I was just doing a survey of kind of related, you know, we work with title reps mm -hmm. and mortgage and all of these folks. And I was doing a survey of professionals like you of what you value mm -hmm. and it's the same things quick to respond, available, knowledgeable, yeah. um, accessible. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, it wasn't, uh, you know, obviously price was a component, but, yeah. but the other value pieces were just as important. Absolutely. Well, anything you'd like to share um, with the audience before we wrap up? Just, I would say that to every new agent, because I, you know, am a mentor for um, JPAR, and I feel like a lot of new agents feel so lost. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, I always want to tell any mentee that I talk to is that just remember that you are running your own business. We are there to support you um, at all times, but you have to get out there, show motivation, show initiative, and get that ball rolling yourself. And I think that that's probably the biggest thing that I see so many new agents struggle with. Mm -hmm. So motivation is the key and stay within you know keep that drive going you have to take action yeah you do you have to take an action now we're getting people from all over the country quite frankly all over the world we have some followers in australia new zealand oh, wow. and others if they want to get a hold of you like where's your expertise if you're an expert in a particular geography um where, 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 where would that be? Probably where everybody wants to live, and that's Frisco. Oh, there you go. So Frisco, <laughs> where, Texas. Where the, Cowboys, where the Cowboys practice center is, and of course, where all the new PGA and everything. So yeah, my whole area that I work is pretty much North Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're looking for North Dallas and Frisco, you can uh, Google Michelle, find her, and Absolutely. reach out and share a referral. And I would love that. I would love. I work with a lot of different agents from different states. They found me on Google, and they have searched me out, said, I love your reviews. I'm going to send you my client. I'm like, nothing makes me feel better. Better than right. to be trusted like that. Isn't that, you know, the referral is the, is the biggest confidence that, mm -hmm. that you're doing the right things? In absolutely. The absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Well, there yes. you go. Well, thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here and glad to be in person finally, not on Zoom. In person, not in Zoom. And yes. We're back in the studio. Well, there we have it. That's our episode. That's a wrap. Until we see you again on another episode, may your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears.